Hi everybody, get ready to move your body and blast your booty for today's pre-ski workout. Extend. This is Madison Rose Ostergen, aka Teton Hard Bitch. This is how she starts her mornings, and I'm only half joking. Why did she get the nickname Teton Hard Bitch? It's so fun to try hard. When I was a kid, I got bullied for being like highly competitive. Come on, guys. Like, why don't we just do this for fun? And I'm like, we're not playing the soccer game for fun. We're playing the soccer game to win. I try to just have like a attitude of don't take yourself so seriously. <laughs> it's Fred, dude. Wait, wait. With like ski mountaineering, it's like it's fucking serious. Like you can't screw up. You have to be able to keep other things light in your life. We're gonna join Madison on one of her adventures. How do you guys know each other? How do we know each other? We know each other because we're both badass chicks that rip. That's the answer you wanted. That was the best day ever. Lift and lower, extend and lower, pull the band and lower and up and Veronica, is there something wrong? Something's off, uh, it doesn't feel good, I don't know. I should have thought of this before. I know exactly what to do. No! no! Take one. <laughs> Action. <laughs> We're gonna do Apocalypse Couloir, which is a pretty well-known Jackson classic. Right. It requires two 60 meter rappels into the line, and then it's steep technical skiing through the couloir with these beautiful rock walls. I've seen so many photos of it, and I've wanted to do it for a while, and so I'm just really excited that Madison's gonna take me in there. The first part of the couloir is pretty like west-northwest facing, and that's like 1,000, 1,500 feet and then it dog legs and then heads like pretty true north. This looks so small from here, but it's obviously two 60 meter repels. Yep. Bunk, bunk. And then we're in it. There is multiple things that like I try to do in preparation for like skiing something like this. Being familiar with the snowpack. A little bit of wind, wind gust 20, cloud cover 10. Um, no preset for Saturday. So I feel like Saturday is still the day. And then like the technical skills of like rappelling or building an anchor or skiing a tight couloir, like being comfortable and like practicing those things. You get to the bottom of the first rappel, you go in direct. Nice, and there's auto lock, sweet. And then like on the physical level, like you're gonna go out and you're gonna climb 5,000 vertical feet or something. Like, it, is that something that you've done before? Like, can you go out and, and do that? How do you feel? I definitely have butterflies. I'm nervous, but overall I feel good. Yeah. And like just knowing that things have stabilized a bit makes me feel a lot better. If there's any question about it, I can do is like set you up so you're like already in this system. Mm -hmm. I've never repelled into a ski line, so that's gonna nice. be all new for me. And the type of slow, steep skiing that's required in these cool wires is something that I get really nervous with. I think I'm better at shutting off my brain and going really fast. But having to stay focused for a longer period of time will be a new situation for me. She's got this. Today we're gonna train how Madison trains. She does these crazy endurance days on the town hill. She told me to fill a bunch of water bottles <laughs> and bring them in my backpack to make it heavier, so. The pumpkin is a real touch. It's <laughs> so much I mean, weight. <laughs> One soaking off is about 1500 vert, and our big tour later this week is gonna be 4500. Uphill V. We're pivoting. <laughs> right off the bat, I'm gonna have some challenges with the endurance. Weightlifting, it's just exciting all the time. You get to blast music. You do one rep and you throw the weight down. And you can high five your buddy. But to just like slowly walk for hours on end, that's a different kind of mental fortitude. <laughs> Lap one, done. Let's go! He's a pump skier. Ah, I can't even keep up! <laughs> In skiing and endurance sports, I think 
when you exert yourself or try hard, it just continues to show you how capable you are. <laughs> Come on, Pete! Oh God! We gotta finish strong. Finish strong. You got it, Pete. Spike the heart rate too. What do we got? I don't even know. It's not even working. Lab three. Woo. We got a nice sunset. It's beautiful. So, how did Teton Hardbitch start? <laughs> I love that. Teton Hardbitch tries really hard in the mountains, but anyone can be Teton Hardbitch, so it's not just me. Although I like to like use it as like my alter ego, AKA just ego, but. <laughs> Trying your best is just, I think that's the motto that I like to live by. Like you are Teton Hardbitch, back flipping into Corvettes. That takes some serious, like hardcore energy. Like, oh. But I also think that there's like this other side of it why do I need to do that? Like, what are you looking for exactly? Prove what, you know? Did you sleep okay? I slept pretty good, nice. yeah, yeah. I kept waking up and checking the alarm. Yeah. My alarm went off and it was like, and I was like, oh God, here we go. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Switching off and descend. One of the reasons we're starting so early is because we're worried about warming. There's like a solar aspect above the couloir. So we just want to get there before it heats up. Hopefully we leave ourselves enough time for a successful mission today. The, the freaks come out at night, so here we are. <laughs> Holy shit. I know, isn't it gorgeous? This is the craziest view I've ever seen out here. This is like one of the most iconic couloirs in Grand Teton National Park. So for me to be able to, to ski this line is like pretty freaking amazing. So we're at 8,000 feet. We're going up to like 10, 10, one. It's such a beautiful day already. And when you're moving in the dark, it doesn't even feel like it's the day. So like, it's just like negative time, you know? Whew. Keep on cruising. I am super gassed. <laughs> but uh, I think we only have just over a thousand feet left. So I'm pushing through. I'm excited to go downhill. <laughs> I can't wait to go downhill. <laughs> Engage the glutes. <laughs> All right, V. All right. This is it. All right, now you get to see what we're, a little bit of what we're getting into. Yeah. <laughs> So we go down. <laughs> oh, that's sick. And then that's the four horsemen. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's what. So we're that's about. what with a solar that we're. Cool. That's kind of like nerve wracking. But right now I feel good. Yeah, um, I do too. All right, let's get a layer on and and we'll get ready to go. Time to put the G string on. Something that's challenging about the apocalypse couloir is you are doing two 60 meter rappels down into the couloir. And once you're in there, there's no turning back. The nervous. Like everyone said, this was a good beginner versus hell line. It's definitely not a beginner. You got right. this. <laughs> it's gonna be like easier than you think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, there you go. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. Have fun. Here we go. Down the couloir. Slowly make my way down. Make my way down town. Walking fast. Nice as fast as I'm homebound. Do the new Focus. Here we go. Nice job, B. Way to crush. This is a lot more fun than I anticipated. 
finished both her pals and now it's the fun part. You crushed that. Veronica. You got this. crushed it. How do you feel? I feel like a new skier. I feel like that was something that I thought was out of my range. I'm just stoked. I feel like there's so many barriers with that, like the ropes and the steepness and the long approach. But then just doing it all in one day, I was like, okay, like I can, I can fucking do it. Like, hell yeah, you can. The more you can just get out of your comfort zone, you get to kind of find this other like person that you like didn't know was there. Like, holy shit, I didn't know I was capable of that. But I am. Are you gonna do more? Are you gonna like, are you, are you hooked? I'm a little hooked. <laughs> I'm all hooked. Yeah. Looking into the couloir when we first got up there, I was like, holy shit, what? why did I ask Madison to take me here? <laughs> and I was just trying to like push those thoughts away. That's a lot of trust you put in me. I did, I put a lot of trust in you. <laughs> I put a lot of trust in you too. Here we go. 